in 1939 when Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi sat on a non-violent fast against colonial rule in India the world was witnessing the most violent destruction being caused by the second world war in 1939 germany and the soviet union invaded poland a country in europe that was still then enjoying freedom and democracy the intention of these aggressors was to permanently wipe out poland from the world map unarmed civilians women and children were sent into slave labor camps of siberia in the soviet union subdued to slave labor they had no escape those lucky enough to get released had nowhere to return to they had no homeland or homes and had mostly lost their families there were however nations in the world that showed their large heartedness and opened their gates to give shelter to poles during this worst of all wars india true to its nature of treating guest as god was the first to welcome these polish refugees when she herself was struggling for independence India, one of the oldest civilizations in the world, has deeply imbibed the ancient philosophy of Atithi Devo Bhava, that is, be one for whom the guest is God. When homeless and starving Polish women and children were looking for refuge, the first country to accept the request of the exiled Polish government was India. At that time, uh, both India and Poland were struggling, struggling for freedom and certainly sheltering refugees in such a big number, thousands of them uh, by Indian citizens. It was a real unforgettable charity for our nation. Certainly it was the time when any kind of uh, such a move, uh, such an effort was mostly welcome by the Polish nation. Four kilometers east of Kolhapur in the state of Maharashtra is Baliwade, which became home to about 5,000 Polish refugees, mostly women and children, from 1943 to 1948. Some of them came to India. Um, there has been uh, two camps organized for them, one in Valivade, which was uh, for 5,000 Polish people, and the one for children in Jamnagar uh, by the generous Jam Saheb, the Maharaja of Jamnagar, who took care of them like his own uh, children. Well, I don't exactly remember which month, but uh, my sister tells me that it is in 1943 when we came to Valibade, I came with my mother and two sisters, two elder sisters. I was the, uh, I am the baby of the family. I was just four years old when I came to Valivade, right? And it was in 43, so you can imagine that I do not remember, and I was very, very ill when we were deported. So, of course, I, 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 it was unknown to me. It, it, it was a land completely unknown and uh, I didn't know what to expect. I don't think anyone w knew what to expect. It was a very interesting story, because 
w ogóle Indii i Walibady, to jest moja pierwsza świadomość mojego właściwie życia. Do Walibady Kolapu przyjechałem z sierocińcem dzieci Polski z Karaczy z Maliru w lipcu 1943 roku. To było dla mnie niesamowite zaskoczenie. Dlaczego? Ponieważ zostałem umieszczony w jakby dużej sali z chyba 30 chłopakami i tam po prostu zmęczony po podróży z Bombaju zasnąłem. It was in such a different country to whatever I already seen. I don't remember that much in Poland. I do have a memory, but not much when you're five, you, you know, you're still sort of holding onto your mother's skirt. Um, this tremendous grudgery and, and, and deprivation in Russia, no food, no schooling, no away from, from, from the world, the rest of the world. We didn't know what was going on whether we are nearing China or, 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 you know, we're going to be deported into India. Well, I didn't know where India was. The camp was divided into five zones of 28 barracks each, containing 10 family units of two rooms and a kitchen. It had a veranda with side walls, doors, and windows of bamboo matting they finally found a home to call their own in India. Uh, my first recollection of Alibadi is just blocks, barracks, as it were, where, in which eventually we were living. And someone had asked me, what do you think? How did you feel? Well, I, I can't really say that I felt anything because whatever they looked like, I thought, you know, when I sort of, in retrospect, I think, well, this is how it was supposed to be. Ten osiedle zostało tak szybko i dobrze zorganizowane, że Hindusi, oprócz tego tam takiego głównego Hindusa, który miał kilka jakby urzędowych sklepów, powstały dwa bazary. Oprócz tego, prawda, fryzjer, herbaciarnia, cukiernia, prawda, yy, różne inne stragany, prawda, gdzie Hindusi sprzedawali swoje produkty, yy, czy to yy, warzywa, prawda, czy, czy jakieś inne, które, prawda, były potrzebne do tego. To się bardzo rozwijało. Poza tym oni świadczyli usługi różne, szewskie, krawieckie, prawda, nosili wodę, pomagali, prawda, nosić, ale najbardziej słynne to było tak zwane mazanie podłóg, mianowicie hinduski nosiły to w takich koszach na głowach i miały tam to łajnokrowie, prawda, i były, krzyczały mazać, 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 prawda, i przychodziły, prawda, i te podłogi wymazywały tym łajnem, to zasklepiało się i to gdzieś wystarczało nam na, na miesiąc, I loved India. My memory really starts from India. You see, it was lovely, plenty of sun, I had friends. We didn't have many toys, but do you know um, the concept of being bored? We did not understand that. We always found something to do. You know, um, I, I really remember Valivada with a smile. Because that's where my childhood really began, in Valivada. For the first time we sort of felt like, proper, like a proper family, human beings. Even though uh, there were just rafters and in every flat there was a huge wooden table. We just wondered why it was until the monsoon came. Then we realized because the, um, there was no ceiling, just rafters and loose tiles on top. Uh, with high winds they would come tumbling down. So we used to sit under this big table, do our homework, eat our meals during the the, the very bad one soon time. Just, uh, 
planting a lot of flowers and um, we call it povui, the one that sort of goes around, grows very, very quickly. So we had a veranda and all that green around us. So it was like home, first proper homes. Valiwade Polish refugee camp was opened on the 27th of April 1944 to welcome Polish women and children into its land and heart. The camp was a complete Polish city with its own school, hospital and post office and most important of all, a church and a railway station, some of which exists even today and is revisited by Polish survivors. I completed this nursing practice in Bombay in, and then I returned to Valivade. Dla mnie w ogóle Valivade to była jedna bajka. Dla takiego chłopaka, który sobie miał wyobrażenie o jakiejś swobodzie, to Valivade spełniało całkowicie ten wymóg. Ja nie wiem, co by się ze mną stało, gdybym ja tam w ogóle został. Ale to wyobraźnia takiego chłopaka, który nie ma nic przed sobą, że się go coś tam zmusza do szkoły, to mnie było to poza, bo ja nie mogłem trafić do tej szkoły po prostu. I, i dlatego myśmy chodzili tam do kina. W tym kinie wyświetlano często te różne filmy, prawda, otaczanie między innymi, prawda, tak dalej. We had a lot of Indian friends, you know, from uh, the shops. It simply, it started... Um, well, my mother just wanted me to become independent, so she would send me shopping, right? And because I was um, a little girl with a very blonde hair, uh, you know, uh, uh, well, the counter was quite high, uh, so uh, they could just see my head. And they kept on asking, then they started asking me to go around to get the bread or what, I usually went for bread. Um, and they became very friendly. You know, I've got some very nice sort of um, mementos from them and um, they became sort of friends of the family. And there was my friend Made. He was the boy who used to come every day to bring water. Oh, M Made was really, he was really a scream. Uh, he used to tease me and I used to tease him <laughs> and he loved white bread with jam. These Polish survivors, who had lived in India as young children, relive and cherish that golden childhood and never miss an opportunity to travel to see their homes in India. The efforts by the Indian uh, side, uh, like creating in Valivade schools, uh, creating uh, secondary schools, a hospital, 
um, library, all, all sorts of things that uh, maintain the identity and the culture of, uh, of the Poles who were here as uh, refugees. Um, it is known in, in Poland and uh, also commemorated by the Poles coming here and visiting uh, the place. Now there is a governmental effort to uh, renovate the cemetery. And in Poland, uh, this is being commemorated by now attempts to make the film. And also there is a book, Pause in India, which describes in detail uh, um, the, all the, and gathers all the documents uh, about the, about the Valivade. The first compassionate gesture was shown by an Indian Maharaja, Jam Sahib Digvijay Singh Ji of Gujarat in 1942 when he gave protection to about a thousand Polish children who were orphaned. A story well captured in the first Indo-Polish documentary, A Little Poland in India. This is an important story in history. Where did he get a house from the continent? Where did he get a house from the continent? He didn't get a normal life. जिस तरह से वो स्ट्रगल कर रहे थे वॉर में, जिस तरह से उनकी मेंटल स्टेटस था, ना कोई पढ़ाई थी, ना कोई इनकम जेनरेशन का सवाल था, ना कोई घर था, उस जमाने में हिंदुस्तान ने ही उन्हें प्रोटेक्ट किया। The efforts of Jam Sahib, the Maharaja of Jamnagar. Um, has been uh, awarded by a uh, posthumous award by the Commander's uh, Cross, uh, given by the President of Poland. There is a monument erected on the square of the, we call it now a good Maharaja, or almost Polish Maharaja. So there is a square in the capital of Poland with, uh, w dedicated to the uh, Maharaja of Jamnagar. There is also a school, one of the best uh, schools in Warsaw, which bears his name. India has kept the memories of Polish refugees in India alive by setting up an obelisk at Mahavir Gardens, Kohlapur. Pillared in the form of an Indian column and topped by a Polish eagle, it reads, In the years 1943 to 1948, thanks to the hospitality of Kohlapur state, 5,000 Polish refugees found shelter in Valivari camp. Dispersed throughout the world, we remember India with heartfelt gratitude. On the 50th anniversary of our departure, Association of Poles in India, 1998. Special day for us that we can come here to Kolapur and to give our warmest thanks to the uh, Indian authorities, but uh, also inhabitants of, of, of this uh, beautiful city and this beautiful district, and to remind the Indian uh, help given to us during the uh, Second World War. Where, on the one hand, Valivare was a haven for Polish women and children, there was something more brewing for young women. Love blossomed. My father, at that time, was around 18 years of age and he was studying medicine uh, in a college in Sangli, which is around 50 kilometers from Balibari. During one of these visits uh, to the hospital in Balibari, my father uh, called her at the side and said that uh, I want to talk to you. Can we meet uh, anywhere outside? Uh, I believe first time she didn't say anything, but uh, then she agreed to meet my father. 
my father uh, asked my mother to meet her uh, at one of the photo studios now why a photo studio uh, my uh, father used to say that uh, all these polish uh, women and children uh, were really crazy uh, to uh, take their photographs so the local photo studio was quite in demand and most of them used to come over there fortunately for my father the owner of the photo studio was his friend so i believe it was an ideal place uh, for two uh, people to meet over there so one sunday uh, my mother along with her friend vaja a cycle from valiwadi to kolapur came to the studio and as usual after taking their photographs my father was waiting over there to meet her there he told her that i love you and i want to be with you forever when my father got married my parents got married uh, she didn't know english hindi marathi and my father did no polish so i don't know how they communicated with each other but somehow they managed much years the 65 years when i married and 65 years i am alone in india our old friend gone to poland my sister with me and i married then sister going to poland then my mother in poland i am staying alone then after when my come children after my uh, 17 years i am old this time i married and 30 years then i getting five check my father in law He never tell that I am daughter in law only daughter India's gaining of independence in 1947 was celebrated by Polish refugees in their Valiwadi camp. For them it felt as if Poland had become free. India was now their second home. I was too young to comprehend what independence means. but i did enjoy um you know the dancing the singing here watch your brothers uh, s hercestem i s starszymi ludźmi z osiedla wielkie uroczystości było oficjalne takie spotkanie na którym wciągnięto flagę wolnych indii odśpiewano hymn też pamiętam a później były różne zawody sportowe e, które trwały właściwie i te zabawy trwały prawie przez 3 lat się puszczali sztuczne ognie i tak dalej były przyjęcia między blokami oni zrobili takie e, e, rozłożyli e, no przyjęcie po prostu różne jedzenia i dosłownie wszyscy siadali i jak to się mówi i i i, i, i częstowali się prawda i on prawda i co na jeszcze najbardziej znamienne że oni wiedzieli o naszej historii, historii, że my jesteśmy tu uchodźcami i tak dalej i wtedy oni nam życzyli, żebyśmy my tak samo uzyskali prawda wolną Polskę i tak dalej. Było to niesamowicie dla nas y, trudne.
the memories of a golden childhood spent in India has been kept alive by these Polish Indians by forming the Association of Poles in India 1942 to 1948 where they meet every 2 years coming together from across the world to relive their indianness we call ourselves indians usually it's an association of poles in india 1942 48 by 1990 when quite a lot of us were retired we um, and they decided to to form formal association its purpose is just purely social znani bo tak nawiasem mówiąc przy zbalaczami to przyszła tylko garska powiedzmy tych dzieci a waliwady wszyscy byli no to więc mogli prawda wszyscy się jak to się spotykać z tym że rzeczywistość jest, jest taka prawda że jak powstało to koło to ono zjednoczyło wszystkich i od 1900 91 roku powstały koła szczególnie taką merytoryczną jakby centralną to było koło porada w w w Londynie a myśmy się...